Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Stedman. Today I want to teach you how to knit this mini poncho. It's very easy to do, even a beginner can do this if you follow my step by step. And here is the list of material you're gonna need to make it. To make this mini poncho, this is the yarn I'm gonna use is Loops and Thread Country Loom. 100% acrylic, 140 grams, and you will need two of them. And the color is Carnival and is super bulky sex. The netting needles that I'm going to use, they're these 9 millimeters, the straight one, and you're going to need circular needle for the color, and they are 9 millimeter or US 13. Because these ones are too long for me to work in front of camera, I'm going to use this shorter one to just to show you what you're going to do. Uh, you're going to need tapestry needle and scissors. So for this one that I'm going to cast on is 27 stitches. If you want it a little bit bigger, you can do 29, 31. It has to be odd number. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to start our a mini poncho. We're going to make two of these pieces and I'm going to cast on 27 stitches for mine and I start mine from here and if you want this a little bit bigger I recommend 31 stitches that way is a little bigger in each side. You see it will be a little bit wider in here. Okay? So you have to make two of these exactly the same and look how nice that stitch looks and the front and they are very easy to do. This is the leftover that I have from my first ball of yarn after I made one of the pieces. So with this leftover and the leftover from the second one I will create the color. But if you're making these pieces bigger you may need another ball of yarn or you can choose not to do a color to the piece. This one is like a medium size so if you're doing a large size, like a casting on 31, so like I said, you may need another ball of yarn. So I'm going to start with this one because I'm just using this a smaller netting needle. I don't have a size 9 shorter and for recording these ones are easy to, to do in front of the camera. So I'm going to wrap the yarn 27 times. If you are doing 31, you will wrap around 31 times. Okay, so I'll meet you here when I have the tail that I need here to I'm gonna cast Here I'm going to do a slip knot. I'm going to pass through the needle, and this is the tail. So I'm going to start casting on my 27 stitches. If you don't have exactly the same brand, I recommend to see if you can find a a yarn that is almost like this one, like a variegated yarn. This has a very nice color combination. So I'm going to continue like this until I have my 27 stitches. Here I have my 27. And remember, if this is a odd number, so if you want it smaller or bigger, that's the way you're supposed to do. I did a little knot here to secure the stitch, and now I'm going to do two rows of pearls. We're going to start with a pearl row in the right side of the piece, and the right side is when the tail is in the front with the tip of our needle. So we're going to pearl or 27 stitches. Like this. After you finish that row, you're gonna do another row of pearl. So you're gonna come back with a row of pearl.
We start our piece from the top here and I forgot to mention if you want to make this a smaller piece, size small, you can cast down 25 stitches so the division will be 12 and 12 is 24 and the center 25. For mine that is 27 stitches is 13, 13 is 26 and the center 27. If you're making this a 31, it will be 15 in one side, 15 in the other one 30, and the center 31. We are doing an increase in each side, here and here. So we'll do our 13 stitches, an increase, the center stitches, another increase, and the 13 stitches on the other side. Just like that. It's very easy. So, and the right side is net, and in the wrong side is pearl in the entire piece. So, I'm gonna net 13 stitches. So, if you did 31, you have to do 15. So, I will meet you here when I have my 13 stitches in this needle. Here I have my 13 stitches in this needle and in this one I have 14 because this one is the center stitch. So now we have to do an increase at the end in this side and in the beginning of this 13 in the other side. So since we are doing a net stitch, we have to bring the yarn to the front in order to do the yarn over. So when you are doing net the next stitch is a net and since the yarn is in the front, when you do the next net, the yarn over and turn into an increase here, okay, because it's from the top and you see that will be one stitch in here, like that, you see, that was the yarn over here. And now if you count in here, you'll have 15 stitches, the 13, the yarn over, that's the increase and the one from the center here and you have 13 in here. Now you have to do another increase in here at the beginning here. So you're going to again bring the yarn to the front and you're going to continue netting. Let's see, like this you are creating that extra stitch in here. So that will be netting those 13 stitches. Okay, all the way to the end. Here I finish the netting row. Now when I turn my work around, it's a row of pearl in the back. Okay, so you have to pearl all your stitches, even those increases. So when I get to the center, I will show you the stitches. And now you have 29 stitches. I'm going to continue pearl all the way. Here I have 12 pearl. This one here is number 13. And now you'll have that yarn over there is now number 14. You see now you have 14 on each side. This one is the center stitch. And again the yarn over there is one of 14 on the other side. So I will pearl all those until the end. Okay. Once you finish that row, you will be in the right side. And if you look in the center, you will already start to look at those two little holes in here and the stitch in the center. Okay. So because you didn't increase in that row, now and instead of 13, you have 14. In this side here, 14 in the other side and one in the center. So now you're going to net 14. This is 14. And now I'm going to bring the yarn to the front. I'm going to net 
the center stitch and you see automatically this it will make your yarn over here and your increase again you bring it to the front and that's the increase in there and remember this I'm counting this for 27 stitch that I started but if you start with uh, 15 the first increase was 16 and now you will be working in 17 okay you have to keep track of what you're doing okay so you're gonna knit all the way to the end now you're gonna do a pearl row each time you're working in the wrong side it's a pearl row so you're gonna pearl all the way to the end Here I will show you again in the center. You see, you're gonna pearl that loop. And then the center stitch. And again. And like that, you're gonna continue all the way to the end. And now you have 31 stitches. Now we're gonna net 15. And we will do the increase in the center. Here I have my 15. I'm going to bring the yarn to the front. I'm going to net the center. Yarn to the front. And do my 15 on the other side. So you're going to continue doing this, increasing in the center until you have 33, 34, 35. For mine, I have here 33, okay, and this side, and 33, and this one. So you can do it longer or shorter if you like shorter, okay. So you're going to continue working, netting in the right side, pearl in the wrong side. And if you have to leave your work and come back again, and then what you do is you count your, if you don't have any reference in how many you have to do, you count it until you get to the one in the center, always the one in the center is your guide, okay? And you have to have the same amount in this side and this one, okay? And each row you're going to increase one on each side so you're increasing two stitches per row in the right side and none in the wrong side and here in the beginning uh, look straight but as you work this will take the shape in here so it look quite straight here if I put these ones like this you see but if I put it like this in the side you start to see already that it's taking shape okay so you're going to continue doing this until you have uh, your desired length and I recommend when you finish each piece to leave a tail long enough for sewing in the side and this one I made the mistake to cut it short so when I do this one that I'm going to do with my long needles I will leave in the beginning and in the end a long tail for sewing okay but I recommend each time you finish one, leave the tail at the end long enough for sewing. It'll be very easy. So I'm going to work off camera on mine and then I will show you how to sew them together and how to do the color in the top. And it's very easy. Here I just wanted you to see as you work, see I start to take that shape like that in here. You see? So I'm working with my long needles now. So, I just wanted to give you a peek what I look like as you work. Here I would have my 33 on each side. And what I did was, I did 32 net. I did the uh, yarn over for the increase. And I did the center, yarn over, 
to do the increase and 32 and the way back I purl 33 on each side so now I'm ready for casting out your piece will be like this on your needle okay so you're gonna cast off now for me it's a little bit difficult to cast off with this because it's really long in front of the camera so I'll try my best so you're gonna cast out in a pearl stitch so you're gonna pearl the first one and then the second one and then you pass the first one on top of the second I'm gonna try to do it with my finger that way it's easier to show you go to the next one you're gonna pearl the next one and the one in the back you're gonna pass it from on top of the one in the front okay like that so you're gonna continue doing this until the end okay this is what I look like and I have one left so I open it up and I cut a jar, the, the tail long enough for sewing, I pass it through and secure that stitch. Now we're going to sew the side. Okay. Here I already sewed this part here. And you, you don't see any seam. And I did with a zigzag, sewing back and forth. And you have to make sure that you are uh, working your piece even. So here you have four options to do the color. The first option is just to close this here and leave it like this. It looks really nice with a color like this. And the other option is if you don't have circular needle, you can open this up like this and cast down your stitches and your stray needle and do your color. The other two options are you're gonna close here, so this here, and cast on your stitches and your circular needle and you do color in, with a circular needle and the other one is, if you don't have a circular needle, cast on 20 to 25 stitches in the straight needle and work one row pearl, go back with a row pearl, pearl back and forth, for like 62 centimeters you will Cast off your stitches, sew the two ends together, so you'll have like a color, like, like if it was like a long scarf, and I, when you close it's like a color, and you'll sew this in here, and then you have your piece finished. But for me, I'm gonna close it here, and with my tapestry needle, I will sew this here back and forth, and then I will cast on with my circular needle. Here I just wanted to show you what it looked like without the color. It's a beautiful mini poncho. And something else that you can do is do a, a hood. But that will be for me, it will be in a different video to do one with a hood. So for this one I'm going to do a color and it looks fantastic. Sorry I didn't mention in the list of material. We're going to use a crochet hook to cast on my stitches here. So I'm going to do slip knot and I'm going to come here. And I'm going to start casting on my stitches. So you can cast on the amount of stitches that you like. So like this. 
you don't have to have even number and even number no it's just cast on all the way around so I will meet you here when I'm done my okay here I cast down 76 stitches and the pen of the stitch that you want to do to your color you're gonna need a marker if you want to do just net every single row net you don't need to have a marker if you want to do every single row pearl you don't need a marker if you want to do uh, one stitch one net one pearl one net one pearl you will need a marker that way you will know each time you in a row and you can do two net two pearl two net two pearl as well or you can do one row of net one row of pearl one row net one row of pearl or three row net three row of pearl four I'm gonna do three row of pearl three row of net like that until I have the desired length for my color so I'm gonna need a marker you can do any stitches you like in here okay so for me gonna be three row of pearl and three row of net This is my first row of pearl. Here I finished that row, so I'm gonna continue with my pearl row. Uh, I may do them a uh, four pearl and four net, depend when I'm working, uh, what I see. Okay, but I will let you know. And I'm gonna work until I have no yarn left, so I don't have that much. So I will let you know how many uh, group of pearl and net I will do. Here I'm gonna start to cast off. I'm gonna net my first stitch and my second stitch, and I'm gonna pass the first net and top of that second one. I cast off my first stitch. Again, I'm gonna net the next one and pass the one that I have in my needle on top of that one. And again, net. So I'm casting off in the net stitch. So you're going to continue doing this all the way to the end. So at the end you will have one uh, loop and you're going to cut the yarn and pass it through that loop and you're going to even that stitch and lose that tail and we have done our piece. Well here is the end result and I don't have yarn, not even one inch of yarn left. That was exactly the two ball of yarn and it looked amazing. What I did for the color was I did three row of pearl, three row net, three row pearl, three row net, three pearl, one net and I cast off. And I don't have like I say yarn or even two nothing. It's just exactly the two ball of yarn. So you're making this bigger you will need a third ball. So I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you make this mini poncho and you want to send me some picture you can do it through my Facebook page Ruby Stedman or you can find me in my Instagram Ruby Stedman Crochet. Please share my videos with friends and family that way you help me grow here on YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.